a bed bug found crawling on the pillow. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. <laughs> 58 dollars for one. 58 dollars is worth it for a good night's sleep. Not gonna lie. <laughs> A little bit hi guys so we ended up coming outside i literally just remembered right now we're just driving around though kind of exploring atlantic city a little bit the places that we wouldn't have been able to walk to we're just driving to like see but we're also realistically driving to find some food we just saw a popeyes that we were gonna buy at but like what do i say the popeyes <laughs> Yes, it was definitely looking a lot of ratchet and so we just decided against it like We just decided that we're not gonna go in there anymore because it was just You know when you see people posted up outside, it's like Automatically, you don't want to do that anymore. And I was saying to him that I feel like um God, I can't say that on the internet It was very ratchet You know when it looks like that you d just don't want to go out go inside and you don't want to deal with the people or posted up outside of the people's business place either. So um, we decided against that. So now we need to find somewhere because we both feel like we could eat some fries. You said you're going to McDonald's. What happened to that? Aren't you gonna actually Google the McDonald's? But oh, yeah, we're just driving around. Ooh. We extended for another night. We're gonna leave tomorrow morning, but we're gonna stay. We're gonna leave <laughs> Friday morning instead <laughs> we gotta go <laughs> too much going on around here hi y'all it is the day after my birthday literally or last full day here and i've honestly just been chilling all morning <clears throat> i had breakfast and then i've really just been chilling enjoying the view and chilling and chilling and chilling and chilling the window has this little like just this strip and I've just been laying on there and like looking out the window and like taking in some sun because as pretty as it looks outside, it is freezing. So it's not like we can just run down to the beach and enjoy the water or whatever. So I had to enjoy the sun I could get there. I brought a bathing suit with me because I felt they had an indoor pool but they have an outdoor pool that is closed. And um, I was even thinking about putting my bikini on and like laying on the window there and just soaking up some sun but I'm like that just seems excessive but I've really just been chilling I post on my insta stories not my insta stories like a reel and I was pretty much saying that I feel like this has been the most emotional birthday yet and it has also been the one where I felt the most loved and the most at peace and I'm so grateful for that so I've really just been chilling I feel like I haven't exactly been on here talking or anything, but I wanted to say thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday. Really appreciate it. This birthday has been the most emotional and the most love and peace I've experienced in all of my 28 years. Yes, we turned 28 here. Um, I literally slept. Nothing astronomical. I just slept. I felt like I was so tired and... Um, the whole point of all of this was to get away and relax and I felt like I did just that. Yesterday I slept so much. At one point I woke up and I forgot where I was and there were so many moments throughout the day that I even forgot that it was my birthday. We went somewhere to get drinks and when I showed the man my ID he was like oh happy birthday and then I rem <laughs> I forgot the whole time. Like I just kept forgetting and that's how you know that you're getting old and you keep forgetting that it's your birthday. But um, I just slept, I relaxed, and I felt like that is what I needed, and this trip did that. I've really just been chilling, taking in this view, like I cannot just views everything, honestly. Literally everything, and it's nice and sunny. Last night we went for drinks. Um, maybe tonight we're gonna check out the hotel bar. Hotel bars and everything are always more expensive, so we ventured outside. But um, I don't know if today we're gonna check out the hotel bar and restaurant or I don't know what we're gonna do. But honestly, it's so, so chill. I couldn't have asked for a better 28th birthday, honestly. Because I feel like I needed this to just reset and pretty much just get my myself together. 
honestly, especially so early up in the year. Like, I love this for me. I'm so excited to be here. I literally don't want it to end, but I'm also very much ready to go back home, sleep in my own bed, and get into a routine. These pillows, I said yesterday that I'm definitely gonna buy them. I need to look at the, um, let's turn the other way. I need to look at the name of them again so that I can order them, but I love the pillows. So I'm definitely gonna buy that. We made some food yesterday. We made some, well, I didn't, he did. Some shrimp, some shrimp alfredo. And so we had that for dinner and it was so much that we still have some left for today. But we also have chicken for today. And um, there is a possibility that we might just go out and get something to eat because I honestly don't feel like I can. This is such a retreat. I don't think I want to do anything. I want to just exist. And be a princess, if you will. <laughs> That's what he calls it. But um, yeah, there hasn't really been much going on. Nothing really to vlog because I've just literally been relaxing soaking up the view because you don't see this in new york and uh, yeah that's really all oh i did search for the pillows the pillow is sobel or sobel westex and they're called sahara nights so i guess the company's name is sobel westex and the pillow's name is sahara nights and i'm telling you they're so comfortable and so oh. Everybody needs these in their home. I'll tell you right now though, it's $60 for them on Amazon. So, um, yeah. But I definitely, I definitely need these. These are too nice not to have. These just feel like the literal best sleep ever. Your neck doesn't hurt when you wake up and I have two hard ass pillows at home. They're um, bamboo pillows and they're so hard literally so hard i found two that are a little bit cheaper i need to look at the reviews because at this point <clears throat> excuse me no not the fucking bed bugs a bed bug found crawling on the pillow oh hell no mm -mm. <laughs> this is what amazon reviews will make you do because like damn this a hotel could never they know better lawsuit that would reach them now reading this goddamn Amazon review I feel like I feel things scrawling on me and nothing is scrawling on me buggin I found one for $58 from the very same brand the best on several occasions I visited different hotels and each time I would love to see what the name was on the pillows every occasion this pillow was on the beds see the absolute best, I literally have to buy it. 58 fucking dollars for one. 58 dollars is worth it for a good night's sleep. Not gonna lie. 10% off on when you, get, when you buy two. So I'm gonna ask him if we're getting these or not. <laughs> Definitely need to get these. These are so nice. Anyways, you guys, um, I'm about to go. If we get up to anything, then I will pop back in. But if not... I'm just here relaxing and enjoying the view because I know that I'm not gonna get this when I go back home and I have this thing around my head to like tie it down because our departure date is not the 9th, it's the 10th 